Lots of conversations about the Fianna Fáil party and the Fianna Fáil leadership over the last while. Micheál Martin himself has said that the greatest threat to Fianna Fáil is ourselves at a private meeting of the party. Is Fianna Fáil its own worst enemy? Look, I mean, we, we had a very difficult by-election and uh, the result was uh, uh, was clearly not one that would be acceptable to a party uh, such as us and we do need to uh, examine the underlying reasons for that and we will do that but we'll do it in a calm and considered way and so what the Taoiseach has agreed to know is that there will be a special meeting uh, at the be- beginning of September uh, where all of these issues will be uh, debated and members of the Parliamentary Party can speak uh, freely and frankly and in in a respectful way and that will happen I think in what is the correct forum and uh, I look forward very much to uh, to that debate and participating in it. Do you believe that Micheál Martin will be uh, the head of Fianna Fáil at the next general election? Uh, I believe that if uh, if he wants to be the leader going into the next election uh, then he will be. I think he is doing an excellent job. Uh, the man could not be giving it any more and uh, you know I see up close every day the commitment that he is giving uh, to the role and the office of T and uh, I think he deserves the support of the parliamentary party and it deserves the support of the general public. He's trying to lead the country through a global pandemic. I think he's doing a pretty good job and you know I don't think the public are really consumed about internal Fianna Fáil issues and I think we should deal with them uh, privately, have open, honest, frank discussions. People can say what they want uh, and if they have alternative views by all means put them on the table uh, but you know there is a need okay. for coherence as well and I think the public want to see parties focusing on the issues that really matter to them. Minister for Public Expenditure and Reform Michael McGrath, thank you for that indeed.